which of the following describes WorkSafe? Uh, enforcer, challenger, <laughs> facilitator, enabler, prime mover, supporter? Well, of course, the answer is all of the above. That's what I believe we have to be as an organisation. Uh, to be blunt, the, uh, the performance of the New Zealand health and safety system is poor. Uh, it is effectively broke, and as a nation, we are lagging seriously behind uh, other countries. In particular, uh, New Zealand's average of 75 workplace deaths per annum is uh, seven times the rate uh, of that in the United Kingdom on a per head basis and our death and injury rates are twice those of Australia. If we had the same rate, therefore, of deaths in England and New Zealand as we do in England, we'd only lose 11 people a year. So we've got a, a big piece of work to do. Uh, we think that there is a fundamental and structural weakness that needs to be addressed. The government has set a very big target for us. By 2020, they want to see a 25% reduction in, in deaths and in serious injuries in the workplace. That's a big target and uh, we want to achieve it. New Zealand currently is embarking on uh, probably the most significant reform of health and safety we've seen in at least 20 years. That involves significant overhaul of our laws, uh, both our primary legislation and also the regulations that underpin and support that. In broad terms, they mean that we are getting away from an employer-employee distinction towards uh, a much more uh, rounded position where uh, everyone needs to take care of everyone else on the work site. We're also increasing penalties, including uh, the due diligence requirement that many of you will understand and, and be aware of. And we're also doing a lot in the worker to participation area to make sure that everyone, as I say, is involved in health and safety. Education, that's going to be the key, that you actually get out there with businesses working with them. Don't be the type of regulator that just takes a hands-off approach and says, we're the regulator, you've got to do what we say. Actually get involved with businesses. A lot of the clients I've been talking to about health and safety reform, they're saying to me, will we be able to call WorkSafe New Zealand if we've got a problem and the knowledge that they're actually going to come and help us and not turn around and just hit us with a big stick? I think I'm looking for a number of things. I'm looking for clarity, looking for guidance and help, support, uh, and, and leadership. So I, I need, I need uh, the regulations to work for me as an organisation. I need them to inspire my organisation to change, to be better, um, and I need for, for that clarity so that I can understand and the organisation can understand exactly what needs to be done to, to uh, get through this big challenge. I think for me, the uh, coming out of the UK, the, the proportionality requirement from a regulator, that the regulators seem to be fair, to be just, and to be proportionate in its approach is absolutely critical. Otherwise, uh, it would be very un easy to undermine one's credibility if they don't behave in that sort of proportionate and credible way. I think what, what I want from WorkSafe is some clear guidance, and I, I think Gordon was saying earlier on what is all practical or what is practicable steps in the new legislation. Some sort of guidance for industry around what, what it is they actually have to do to reasonable steps, but I think there's some real misunderstanding about the expectations there, and I think there's some guidance material, the guidance material that WorkSafe New Zealand produces, I think that the guidance material could be a, little, a lot simpler and, and could be aimed quite a bit at the smaller employer, smaller occupier, to be able for them to get a basic understanding of what they need to do. I think amongst boards there are, they are they're taking on personal liability, they can't insure against it. Um, so they've got to know more about their business from a health and safety perspective, so I think definitely there is. Um, but you know, directors in New Zealand companies have been lumbered with more personal liability in a number of different areas, so they just see it as another area, another area in which they need to upskill and deal with, and if they get appropriate advice and do it properly, then they shouldn't be too concerned. Who is at the centre of the health and safety universe? Well, not us. The centre of the health and safety universe is the business, because it's the business, it's the enterprise that creates the risk. 
It's the enterprise that controls the risk. Orbiting around that central point in the universe are a lot of influencing factors. Trade associations, the economy, political pressure, trade unions, uh, media, lots of insurance companies, banks, accountants. There's lots of things that influence the way businesses behave. And we are one of those influences. So our task as a good an effective and smart, intelligent regulator is to say, okay, though we have lots of tools in the toolbox, partnership working, working through supply chains, working in collaboration with organizations, developing guidance, developing standards, sharing knowledge, educating the workforce and the public about risk and how you manage it, and enforcing and inspecting and investigating. So our trick as a regulator, I think, is to say, right, if those are all the tools in the toolbox, how do we deploy them? Who are we going to collaborate with? Who are we going to work in partnership with? Who are we going to provide the focus for our inspection and our enforcement effort? And it's that task that we're engaged in now, 